Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar then we'll run through the UK Met Office run have a look at the precipitation and temperature over the next five days and then we'll look at the longer range look at the GFS, GM, Eastern VF and the ensembles as it does look like although it's going to be unsettled perhaps over the next five to seven days with generally cooler conditions than we've seen recently not cold by any means but more towards average it does look like perhaps for the last few days of May and the start of June things could turn much drier with high pressure settling back in and we could be going warmer once again. Nothing exceptionally hot, no heat wave by any means, but temperatures perhaps getting into the low to mid 20s widely, perhaps um, with the right upper air masses. So we'll have a look uh, at what's happening over the next couple of weeks. But for the time being, though, it is looking showery and a little bit chillier um, than it has been recently. Just remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So at the moment, you can see most areas, it's pretty dry. We've got patchy clouds around, some sunshine, and when we do see sunshine, temperatures are getting into around the low 20s. We do have a pretty warm air mass, especially in the south, with the um, getting a, a good few degrees above average in terms of upper air conditions for this weekend. But it will be returning below average, or around average for the start of next week and that's how it's going to be for most of working week before next weekend we could potentially be much warmer and drier again but you can see it is generally dry but there are quite a few showers in the north and west this is going to be a recurring theme yes there will be more nights but showery days but most days there's going to be showers in from the north and the west uh, when we, as we do have quite a, an, an unstable atlantic flow nothing crazy but unstable enough to give showers most days. You can see across Western Scotland, quite a bit of precipitation moving in. Oreographic rainfall, so generally heaviest over the high ground. So low-lying areas, just generally light rain. And again, you can see a few showers, a couple heavy coming into Northern Ireland and Western parts of Republic of Ireland. And again, we have some showers, some patchy showers in some thicker clouds, just north of Liverpool and Manchester, up in the Lancashire area, seeing some showers there as well. But Elsewhere, it is pretty dry. Um, I mean, if, if we do have a look at the temperatures as of around 5 pm as I'm recording this, it's not too bad across many parts of England, Wales, and a lot of Ireland, and even parts of eastern Scotland where we have a bit more sunshine and little precipitation. Temperatures are up around that high teens, low 20s mark, seeing around 20, 21 degrees for the high temperature down somewhere in eastern England into the southeast and that's sort of going to be the high temperatures over the next week or so perhaps tomorrow we might reach 22 23 degrees but that's going to be an isolated day as I said because we have warmer upper air conditions but over the next week it does look like the temperatures will be quite um strictly in around that 15 to 20 degree mark for high condition high temperatures and of course with showers and cloud around even if it is 16 17 degrees it's not going to feel all that warm so yes the next week or so it's not going to be t-shirts and shorts weather like we have had in the south and the east over the last week or so so we do have a look at the UK Met Office run, have a look at the precipitation temperature over the next five days. Now you can see as across this afternoon, you can see those showers pushing into western parts and a bit more precipitation, uh, more persistent precipitation pushing into western Scotland over the course of this evening into the early hours of tomorrow. And you see by tomorrow afternoon, pretty dry once again in the south, a bit cloudier perhaps, some outbreaks uh, or some Sunny outbreaks along the south coast potentially, but some heavier showers pushing into Ireland and or Republic Ireland and Northern Ireland and into parts of Scotland as well. Could be quite heavy within some of these showers, but you can see they are patchy, they are hit and miss scattered showers, so some areas will remain drier. But this theme will continue as we head into Monday. More heavier precipitation pushes in further south and eastwards. We see more widespread showers. Some of them could be heavy. And we could see the isolated thunderstorm within this. But most of these showers will be moderate to heavy. Um, and will be exclusively rain. No lightning or anything like that. But quite widespread. Hit and miss again. But yeah. Just shows you by Monday afternoon. All areas will have the potential for some showers. And that continues into Tuesday once again. Another showery day, as I said. This westerly flow, quite unstable. So we are seeing a lot of showers pop up. Not masses amounts of rain, but it is enough to uh, make sure nowhere really stays completely dry. And it will bring those temperatures down as well. As we head forward, to, forward into Wednesday, a uh, weather front moves in. Again, patchy rain initially. Before, as it clears through through Wednesday afternoon, we could see some very heavy showers breaking out, some reds mixing in there. Again, most of these showers will just be of heavier nature. 
but we see some reds indicating potentially some torrential rain, and you couldn't rule out the isolated thunderstorm here or there popping up. Again, we'll have to keep an eye on it. It's Wednesday, a good four or five days away, so there could still be some altercations near the time. It'll be interesting to see what this does show a day or two out. Because if we are seeing some charts like this a day or two out, then perhaps we will look at any risk of any more widespread thundery risks. But at this stage, it's not looking anything crazy. And you can just see general precipitation continues. And by Thursday morning, we're seeing another weather front push in. But as I said, towards next weekend, around a week's time, high pressure does look like it's going to be building back in, turning things much drier and warmer. Now, if we have a look at the temperatures, you can see today temperatures peaking in around that 18 to 20 degree mark across East Anglia, central parts of England and the South East. And more widely, mid to high teens, but across the precipitation in western parts of Scotland and northwest England, down towards low teens, maybe only single digits over the higher ground. Into tomorrow, those temperatures could rise even higher, perhaps 22, 23 degrees could be seen across the London area into the Midlands, down into central southern England and east Anglia. Um, as I said, we have warmer upper air conditions, so I do briefly put those on. The upper air temperatures you can see 7, 8 degrees at 850 HPA, very hot conditions actually across near continents. You can see temperatures there getting up into the mid to high 20s potentially in land. As we head through to Monday, though, you'll see a bit of a step change. Temperatures dropping down more towards that 15 to 18 degree mark. Some areas even cooler than that. And we see that continue into Tuesday. And it's all because we've got more widespread showers around it, which is going to stop those temperatures rising significantly. Again, 15 to 18 degrees. And by Wednesday afternoon, perhaps temperatures rising a tad higher, maybe 18 to 20 degree highs, but more widely again, 15 to 18 degrees. So not too bad coming up over the next week, but it's not going to be that widespread low 20s um, and some potentially mid 20s that we have seen over the past week. Of course, those were accompanied by thunderstorms as well, but instead next week it's going to be slightly cooler with more just general scattered showers and less of these big thundery downpours. So a little bit of a change, um, and, uh, but I don't think people will prefer this weather too much. It's going to be blustery out there with a westerly flow especially in the north and west as I said quite frequent showers and those temperatures are going to be a little bit chillier they're going to be cold enough to mean yeah as I said no shorts and t-shirts weather perhaps um, for most areas so if you do now have a look at the longer range we start on the GFS now the GFS run hasn't finished it's after 240 hours um, again beyond 240 hours it's quite inconsistent and a very uncertain so to be honest looking for uh, beyond day 10 is general speculation normally so if we do run it out you can see low pressure pushing in over the next couple days into by tuesday wednesday when we have the peak of the showers you can see a real flat westerly flow chilly air masses pushing in unstable flow but as i said towards the weekend high pressure starts to build back in yes it's initially a bit of a northerly flow so a chillier atlantic flow but it's high pressure and as i said this time of year end of May, early June, we don't really need that warm upper air conditions to be getting the temperatures into the low 20s. A good uh, sort of 3, 4, 5 degrees at 850 HPA is good enough to get into that high teens, low 20s widely, if not warmer than that. And you can see the high pressure is, yes, a general northerly flow, but it's not too bad in terms of upper air conditions. You can see, yes, some brief chillier air masses coming in for a time. And you see right towards day 10, perhaps a bit of a northerly flow coming in there, chilly northerly flow, but it's nothing yet too crazy. We're generally be dry with plenty of sunshine around if it is only 17 18 degrees with big sunshine it's going to feel warmer it's going to feel a lot warmer than 20 degrees with lots of showers around so it's not looking too bad generally high pressure though so it is going to be a lot drier now if we see how the gm plays it out you can see again a westerly flow for the next few days very similar to the gfs high pressure builds back in but less of a northerly flow yes some northerly winds coming in a bit of a cut off low potentially developing there towards scotland but generally look at those upper air conditions it's not too bad up and around that five degrees at 850 hpa much uh, nicer than it is at the moment because you can see into this week when that chilly westerly flow comes in we're down back towards low single digits if not freezing at 850 hpa that's why the temperatures are going to be down but as I said when that day 10 well at day 10 when that high pressure starts building warm air masses are coming in as well and you look at the temperature deviation generally we are just above average by maybe two to four degrees and of course that will reciprocate in the ground temperatures giving us uh, conditions perhaps as i said into the low 20s maybe 24 25 degrees in a few spots and if we do have a look at the ecmwf see how that doesn't compare again a westerly flow over the next week or so um as we head into the weekend high pressure builds in and it's actually a much warmer high pressure with more of a west uh, sorry more of an east to southeasterly 
flow very warm this would be um, again it would be sort of homegrown warmth um, again you can see warm air masses coming in but it's that stagnant air mass the air just sitting over the top of the UK would give temperatures into the mid 20s perhaps or even high 20s 26 27 degrees can wall out there not really heat wave by any means but very warm conditions for the end of may and start of june very pleasant heading into that jubilee bank holiday weekend and you see the upper air temperatures um, in terms of deviation from normal in around that six to ten degree mark to the north us 12 degrees above average towards iceland and off the coast of northern scotland very very warm indeed and as i said give temperatures in the mid to high 20s look very very good there now if we do finish by having a look at the ensembles you can see there is uncertainty around warm over the next day or two as i said we've got warm upper air conditions but as we cool down next week a lot of showers pushing in uh, and weather fronts potentially at times but as we head towards the next weekend around six seven days time you see that it dries quite significantly for around two three four days but it's because beyond day 10 uncertainty really does build you see generally upper air temperatures as we head towards next weekend are above average but for most of this week especially around that sort of tuesday to friday period is going to be around or below low average chillier and right towards the end of june and start of uh, end of may sorry in start of june those temperatures are in around average slightly above average but have a lot of uncertainty now these are the six o'clock ensembles and we had a look at the 12z run so you the six o'clock gfs run was much chillier but you can generally see it is still high pressure dominating and i have emphasized this over the last few videos even average upper air temperatures with high pressure can give temperatures into the low 20 still pretty pleasant so big uncertainty with the exact um, upper air temperatures just because it's the orientation of the high pressure system but a majority of the ensembles are high pressure dominated and will be warm uh, generally because you can see that on the ensembles high pressure returning to the end of may and most are hanging on into the start of june a couple are going much lower pressure including the operational run from the 6z but generally it is uh, high pressure dominated and you can see that with the two meter temperatures generally around sort of 15 to 18 degrees this week but as the high pressure built in a lot of the runs returning in around that 20 degree mark again they are lower resolution so a couple degrees cooler than what it would be in reality and you can see some of the ensemble members getting towards the mid-20s mark more some of them only sort of 15 16 17 all depending on the orientation of the high pressure but still generally looking really nice if we have a look at the ECM WF, a look at the midnight run, again, you see warm over the next day or two, then returning well below average by a couple of degrees for the middle of this week. And then around the end of the week, around 27th, 28th of May, we are above average from the majority of the ensemble members. Here is the ECM WF operational run, which is which was very warm run, you can see is in the midst of the warmer pack so it's not an outlier by any means that's sort of warm upper air conditions and you see that continues all the way to the end of the run yes generally the mean of the ensemble members is in around the 1981 2010 mean because there are still quite a few cool route flyers but those will be the ones just bringing more of a northerly flow you can see for 50 ensemble members very little precipitation beyond the 26th of may yes there are spikes around but it is much much lower because i said look at that sea level pressure much higher pressure in the longer term especially for the end of may a bit more uncertainty for the start of june just because of the time frame and if we finish by having a look at the two meter temperatures you can see again warm over the next day or two but returning well uh well back towards average around sort of 14 to 16 degrees again we slightly higher in london because i said the ensemble members are low resolution but as you can see as as we head towards the end of may you can see those temperatures do build most days in around the 26th of may to around the 29th of may built by a uh, temp uh, a degree or two every single day and for the end of may start of june temperatures in around that 17 18 19 degree mark with some ensemble members going really warm others holding back a bit um, so yeah looking pretty decent in the longer term with high pressure warm high pressure potentially building back in for the time being though it is going to be more towards average maybe cooler than average especially in the north and west with frequent showers and thicker cloud but does it like we have something potentially to look forward to once again in around a week's time for something a bit warmer um, and drier quite widely as well it doesn't look like that high pressure it's just going to be an extension from the south it does look like it's probably going to be building in so unlike the system we had last week where we still had high pressure around but a lot of thunderstorms this high pressure looks like it's going to be positioned more towards northern england and scotland with more of a northerly or easterly flow which yes may bring more nippy conditions across the east coast but it'll bring more widespread um, dry conditions and more warmth further northwards so more widespread dryness and warmth as well so it's looking potentially really good for next weekend and beyond 
Had to keep up to date though, of course. Things can change, but at the moment, the signal is good. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, and I'll see you again for another video soon.